Alright, what's going on everyone? I got the next set of commands for you. Now this is pretty extensive, but it's very, very convenient and get a lot done with just a simple command in the Discord chat. And of course, you're welcome to come and try these out from at any, any time, free of cost, at discord.gg slash fudstop. Let's go over the options commands that you can utilize in the Discord. And of course, the prefix is going to be the exclamation point. Um, it's going to be the exclamation point for all of these commands I'm going to be going over in this series. But these are, are particularly for the options commands that you can use. Let's go ahead and take a look. And I'm going to provide the command, an example of, a, of the command, and the output example that it will show in the chat when used. So first we're going to go over open interest, see the OI and call put ratio for a given stock. The command is exclamation point OI, space, symbol, and an example right here. We used PayPal, and you can see that it prints out a nice consolidated view of the open interest for a particular stock. You can also look this up by date as well. For example, if I want to do exclamation point OI space PayPal space date, um, you first would want to print out the OI. That way you can get the dates right here um, and use as reference and then you just plug in each individual date and you can actually do it further and organize it down to, to the specific dates. Next we have flow premium history. See the last few weeks of flow premium dollar value for a particular stock. To do this one, you do exclamation point F-L-O-W-P-R-E-M, and then the symbol. In this example, we used AMD, and here's the output there. Nice visualized premium uh, visualization for AMD calls versus puts. Next, we have equity put call ratio. for the. Um, this is for the whole market consolidated uh, from marketharmonics.com. If you want to see this, it's equity PC with an exclamation point in front of it. And here's the output right there. Next, we have index put call ratio. Again, this is market wide. If you would like to see this, just hit exclamation point index PC to get an index daily put call ratio for the um, consolidated view. Next, we have flow real time data. This is the most recent flow for a ticker of your choice. In this example, we use GME. The command is exclamation point flow space ticker example GME. And this is the output here. You can see that for today we do have the um, premium spent for the different expiration dates and the strikes and whether it was a uh, put or a call. Open interest was included, the side, and the days till expiration. Very convenient. Next we have opening trades or most recent flow for a ticker with the opening tag or in other words where the volume is greater than the open interest. So for this exclamation point opening space ticker in this example, we used Google, and the output is like this. Next, we have a summary flow. This is the summary of all flow by percentage of market cap and can also be sorted by columns. So the command is exclamation point summary flow, space interval or time frame you'd like to measure, and then the arguments. And the arguments can be this. What I would recommend doing is just doing summary flow by itself. That way you can see the different categories and then you can organize it how you want. So for example, summary flow space one space float we will organize it in descending order from float. So it's in order here from float um, smallest to largest. Now if we did summary flow six sum you're going to see here that now it's organized by the sum of the market cap. Next we have sector flow, summary of all flow by percentage of market cap per sector. This one's pretty cool. The command is exclamation point sector flow, space interval, which is the time, number of days, space sector, which you can utilize by the different mnemonics right here. So BM is basic materials, E would be energy, CS would be consumer staples, things like that. So in this example, we use exclamation point sector flow, measured the last six days, and we used basic materials. As you can see here, the output is very nice. This is for CE. Next, we have Big Flow. This uh, searches the 20 largest flows by premium paid. The command is exclamation point Big Flow, space the ticker of choice. In this example, we use GME, and the output is right here. You can see this is the largest flow for GME, uh, the last largest 20. From GME. Next we have flow summary. Summary of flow premiums over $25,000 in value. 
flow sum is the command here, exclamation point, F-L-O-W-S-U-M, space, symbol. In this example, we used AMC. And you can see here, it prints out a nice visualization of calls and puts, and the premiums paid for each side. Next, we have flow summary weekly. Same thing as before, just a weekly summary of flow premiums, over 25,000 in value. Um, same command, just add a W at the end, so exclamation point, flow sum W and then the symbol that you would like. In this example, we use Netflix, and you can see, same look as before, just a weekly consolidated view instead of a daily. Next, we have weekly flow. This is weekly options with days to expiration less than seven. The command for this is exclamation point weekly, and then the symbol of choice. In this example, we used Microsoft. And then as you can see here, the top weekly flow for Microsoft is right here. Next, we have Greek flow, adds the Greeks to the flow output, and it, it's going to measure gamma, theta, vega, and delta. The command for this is exclamation point G flow, and the symbol of choice, in this example, we used GME, and the output is right here. You can see it has the gamma, vega, theta, delta, the DTE side, premium spent, open interest, calls and puts, strike, expiration date, and the time it was ordered. Next, we have top combined calls versus puts flow summary, which is the summary of premiums by calls and puts. The command is exclamation point flow sum top. The example, there's only one, exclamation point flow sum top, and then you will see the top premiums, calls versus puts for the day. Next, we have unusual options activity. This will display the top 20 unusual stock option activity, or you have another option of per stock with UOA stock. So you can use UOA by itself or exclamation point UOA space ticker. In this example, we used UOA by itself. You can see here it's just a consolidated view of the unusual options activity. And then if you use it with a ticker specifically, it will show AMC in this example, specifically the calls and puts, the strike, the volatility, or I'm sorry, the volume, the open interest, the IV, the expiry, and the volume slash OI ratio. Next, we have unusual options trades. This shows the top 20 unusual stock option activities sorted by total volume compared to open interest. The command for this is exclamation point UOT. There's only one way to use it. And the output is shown here. You can see that for today, um, CRM, Amazon, Fang, X, Facebook, Apple, PayPal, MOS amongst the top options activity for unusual. Next, we have the Tendies Index, and this one's actually pretty cool. The Tendies Index finds all weekly OTM options with good liquidity and assumes the stock will hit a reasonable price target based on the stock's past 10 days price movement using a modified average true range, called not true range. If that price target is hit, dividing the options intrinsic value by the current option price gives the Tendies Index. The command for this is exclamation point Tendies. The example, only one way to use it, exclamation point Tendies and it will return the Tendies Index, which you can see right here. Um, AFRM, RBLX are the two that are showing up here. Next, we have the Top Strike Option Volume. Top 20 Option Volume Leaders by Strike. Command for this is exclamation point top, or, or T Option Vol, sorry, exclamation point T-O-P, T-I-O-N-V-O-L. The output is right here, very nice. Next, you have the top option volume, returns the top 20 stock option volume. Command is exclamation point TO stock, and this is the output right here. Next, we have top average option volume. Top, uh, this is the top equity average option volume based on 20 day average. The exclamation point, or command for this one is exclamation point TOP AVG option, and the output is right here. Next, we have top OI change. This one's very awesome. The top 20 equities with the largest change in open interest. Command for this one is exclamation point TOP OI change. The output for it is right here. You can see the number one is GE with negative 531.167. I'm sorry, negative 531,167 OI change. Next, we have unusual equity option activity. This unusual equity option activity is based on the 20-day uh, average volume. 
command for this one is exclamation point UOA stock and the output is as such look EDU's on there let's go Brandon it's not political it's just funny next we have the high IV stocks relative to the IV 30 this is the 20 highest IV 30 equity stocks and the 60 day historical the command for this one is exclamation point high IV stock and it will return the top high IV stocks which you see right here next we have option stats on a ticker volume OI IV and the ERN move the example for this one in command is exclamation point option stats space ticker the example we use for this one is AMC and the output is right here very 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 nice commands here next we have top ETF option volume which returns the top 20 ETF option volume command for this one is exclamation point TO ETF and you can see here the output is as such and that's it so that's all the options commands um, again if you need help on any of these commands you can type exclamation point help space whichever command you would like help with very extensive we're making it easy and it's only gonna get better because we're adding more and more to it and we're building our own bot that's gonna clean up and be a little bit better than all these ones we're using right now but for now it is very very handy so come and check it out discord.gg slash fudstop link in the description